Libra. Here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. Let's see what's going on with your person. What do the cards have to say today? We have reserve. Will. Healing. We have smiley face. And we have the owl. All right, interesting energies here. Uh, looks like a mixture of energies here, like reserve. This reserve energy feels like, you know, like holding back a little bit. Um, yet the will card seems like it's like perseverance. Let's keep going. Let's have, it feels like, like a drive energy. Like, like there's a, there's a vision, there's drive, there's, there's uh, a wanting. Uh, there's a magnetism here. Um, but there's also, um, there's also a closing of a cycle here. An old cycle is closing. Maybe, you know, maybe that reserved feeling like of holding back is um, changing now. There's, there's a shift in energy here. Um, instead of holding back, um, we're going to step forward. We're going to um, follow our own wisdom here. You know, the owl energy, owl energy for me, you know, represents wisdom. Like there's a vision, like seeing things that not everyone sees here. Um, with the healing energy, you know, this healing, uh, I'm, I'm drawn to like the peacock feathers on this particular card. Peacocks, um, peacocks for me represent, um, protection like being being um guarded i guess and i mean guarded in a good way like having having protection like um you know being it's interesting that word guarded came through like guarded as in like um security like there's there's a security here and maybe you know maybe it didn't always feel that way but i feel like there's a new sense of um new sense of of joy and happiness coming through here but let's let's pull some tarot and see if we can um dive in deeper to this message here we have the hermit we have queen of sword we have eight of wands queen of cup energy here Okay, so we have a couple of queen energies here. I feel like that could be like feminine energy, regardless of your gender here. There's something about, um, you know, the softer side of life, that softer energy here. This this queen of cups energy, uh, you know, there's strong emotions here. Queen of Swords is very, Queen of Swords, matter of fact, she doesn't take no, no shit from anyone. Um, you know, and will Queen of Swords, like what the Queen of Swords wants, she gets here. So there's something about being very determined. There's a determined energy here uh, to fix things, make things right, keep, keep, keep things in balance or in harmony here. You know, eight, I'm drawn to the eight of wands here, the eight of wand energy Eight for me, uh, well, first of all, eight for me is like an eternal um, number. You know, there's no end and no beginning to an eight. It's like you you and your person are very uh, connected. You're eternally connected. Um, and, and things are going to uh, move to the next stage here is what I'm getting here. Like we're moving forward um, from a stagnant situation or a stagnant um, feel, you know, reserve and hermit energy. It's like holding back um, until like the way forward is shown or until there is um, an absolute knowing that, yes, this is right for me. Yes, this is this is where I'm going. This is where I belong. I feel like that's occurred for your person here with the queen of sword and the will. You know, we started out with reserve and the hermit. It's like 
holding back, gathering information. Hermit finds solutions. Hermit finds the way forward. Then we take action. I feel like with the will and the queen of swords, it's like your person knows what they want and they're going for it. It's like, and the things are going to happen quickly and it's going to bring in a, a, a harmony here. You know, the healing card. Healing is, you know... Healing eight of wands, like we're, we're um, connecting, we're moving forward, we're like emotionally fulfilled, there's wisdom here. Uh, it's going to bring a smile to your face with the, with the uh, smiley face here. Uh, and then we have knight of wand, king of wand, star energy. Three of Wands. Yeah, there's a definite, like, the future is unfolding for the two of you here. Knight of Wands, taking action. You know, reserve the reserve, the Hermit, and the Knight of Wands. It's like your person knows how to take action. They know how to take action towards you. They're feeling confident in themselves. You know, there's been a lot of soul growth, a lot of um, a creative surge here with the Knight of Wands, King of Wands. It's like there's an expansion here. Your person knows what they want. They want to create a life with you. They're being guided spiritually to connect with you on a deeper level. They're connecting with their future here. Um, interesting, what I'm noticing here is on the bottom of this deck is a, a, a six of six of coins so it's it is the reciprocity the giving and receiving like things are connecting the two of you are meant to connect and harmonize with each other balance each other out it's like feminine masculine energy like this connection uh ten of pentacles yeah there's big blessings here uh coming in uh ten of pentacles eight of pentacles four of pentacles wow uh, we have death card. Let's pull one on the six of coin. This hermit energy again. It's like, he, wow, this is strong, strong energy here. These pentacles. It's saying there's blessings. There's physical blessings. There's, you know, this is like the icing on the cake. This particular eight of pentacles. He's icing that cake. He's, he knows what he wants. He's feeling secure. He's feeling grounded. Um, you know, there's, there's expansion here. There's transformation here. There's, you know, this hermit is moving. I love this hermit he's like he's he's like he's moving quickly like it's interesting because the hermit sometimes can be um you know represented as you know being um being in the dark but i feel like it's you know the hermit let's look at this hermit here he does have a lantern here so he's he's not in any kind of rush he's lighting his way forward but with this I feel like with the eight of wands and this particular hermit here it's like we, there's fast movement like we're move we, there's definite movement here we've we've gone from the contemplation stage to major transformation major moving forward here uh let's draw let's see where's um oh this deck i'm looking for this deck i want to clarify these hermits um here all right let's see knight of coin so more coins, like I feel like your person's like got the nest egg together. They're financially secure. Now we can have success. Now we can connect six of coin, six of wand here. Uh, bottom of this deck. Now we have the three of coins. So this is a solid connection here. You are meant to go forth. If things felt like they were slow to begin or slow to move, now we're like breaking out of that shell here. It's time to get out of hermit mode, take action, and be open to receive all the blessings that the universe has for the two of you. There's um, there's a wisdom here being shown to both of you. I feel. Let's um, let's read this um, the essence of this owl card, um, in closing. What do we have? Number thirty nine. Okay, it says, Owl is the master of the night. She can see situations with perfect clarity, more so than when it's dark, and is able to discern truth when others are sightless. She helps you find your light and your lightness in the darkest moments of your life, and to embrace the night as your ally. Owl can bring you messages from the invisible world. She opens your ears so that you may hear the voices of the ancestors and you may acquire their wisdom and make it your own. 
Look around you. Notice every detail and find the hidden messages brought to you by Owl. Do not shoot the messenger. Be grateful to the friend who shows you what you have not wanted to see until now. Observe all the facets of the diamond without judgment. Remember that the facets you dislike are often mirrors of the parts of you that you do not want to recognize. Do not be afraid of the truth as it will become your compass. So I feel like, yeah, you're, you know, with the hermit here twice, it's again it's like the, the hermit um, has that lantern that guides them forward, you know, and the owl can see in the dark. Um, you know, the owl is a, is a night creature. He has wisdom. He can see. And, and the, I love the light on this hermit card. It's like things are moving forward. Let's look at the bottoms of this deck. I feel like, yeah, judgment. It's like seeing things differently and, and being, you know, f following the calling. Your person is being called. Look, nine of cup here. It's like, yeah, like your cups overflow. It's time for the two of you uh, to begin is what I'm getting. Let's look at the bottom of this deck. I feel like there's another message here. Uh, the vision quest, number 60. So another six. It's like this connection, this reciprocity. The person has a vision, you know, and the owl has night vision. It's like your person is seeing the reality of their life and and the the soul mission like you and your person are being drawn together and if i feel like there was maybe a, a hesitation or a not knowing how to take an action but they're coming out of like this dormant period they found the answers now things are gonna uh move forward here uh this vision quest number 60 uh, says in the vision quest you face your fear embrace your mortality and then meet face to face with spirit when we feel stagnant, a vision quest brings our life into perspective. We realize our flaws, our potential, and the opportunities life is offering us. We remain on a vision quest until we find the key to open a new door or write a new chapter in our life. I feel like a person has found that key. They're ready to move uh, forward here. Uh, I'm gonna all right, I'm gonna read one more here. The invitation. It says, find clarity by spending time alone in nature. If you live in a city, go for walks in the park. If you live in the country, make sure you spend time outside in contemplation. Get off the couch. Get away from your desk. Go outside. Spirit helps those who help themselves. So set your intention and ask nature for a guiding vision of your life. Peace be with you. Bye now.